how you folks doing? So a widower who happens to be a southern preacher and his teenage son are sitting at the breakfast table and he looks at his son and he says, son, have you ever given any thought to what it is you're going to do with the rest of your life? I mean, you're almost a young man now and your high school career is almost over. And the son says, well, you know, dad, I really haven't given any thought to it. Well, what do you think you'd like to do? And he says, I honestly don't know. I can't think of anything that I'm particularly good at or that I enjoy to the point where I'd make a career out of it. The father says, okay, well, give it some thought when you're at school today and I'll pray on it for you. And maybe we'll come up with a solution for you, something that, you know, we can help get you focused on. The son says, okay. So he goes off to school and Sure enough, his father starts praying on it. He says, Lord, I'd like to thank me and the missus raised a good God-fearing boy, but I just I just don't know whether or not he's going to turn out okay, and if you could give me some way to help guide him or see what it is he should do with the rest of his life, uh, I sure would appreciate any help you can give. And whether it was a instance of divine intervention or just plain luck sure enough he had an epiphany he says I know what I'll do and he runs out to the garage and he grabs a few things he runs up to his son's room and he says I'm going to put four items on his study desk here and whichever item he picks up and walks out of this room with well I'll know what to expect out of my boy and what kind of job I did and what he'll do with the rest of his life so puts the first item on the desk and it's a holy bible and he says well lord if he picks up the bible and walks out of here i'll know that he's going to grow up to become a, a servant of god just like me and what a glorious day that would be places the second item on the study desk and it's a silver dollar and he says well if he picks the silver dollar i guess he has an affinity for money and he'd be a successful entrepreneur and i'm, I'm okay with that and then the third item he places is a flask of whiskey. He says, Lord, if my son chooses this, because he's going to grow up to be a no-good drunk, whatever he does. Oh, please, Lord, don't let him choose this. And he finally, he places the fourth item on the study desk, and it's a pornographic magazine. And he says, Lord, if my son chooses this book of filth, Oh, have mercy on his soul, Lord. He'll grow up to be an adulterous, prostitute, loving sinner. And my heart would just break. No sooner had the words escaped his mouth than he heard the squeal of the bus brakes up out in front of the house, meaning that his son was about to be home. And he wanted to see the fruits of his labor and know the results, so he runs in his son's closet, which has those little vertical slats to see through and he waits with great anticipation. And his son comes home, rushes upstairs, and runs into his room, and he throws his book bag on his bed, and he's about to turn around and walk out when he sees these four items on his desk that weren't there when he left this morning. He stares at him for a few seconds curiously, but he, he doesn't think anything of it. So he starts reaching over, and his father's smiling. He's hoping, he's hoping, and his son reaches out, and he first thing he grabs is the Holy Bible. He tucks it under his arm. And his father is just so happy. He's beaming. He's about to walk out and congratulate his son when he notices his son's reaching back to the desk and he grabs the silver dollar and flicks it, grabs it, swipes it, puts it in his pocket. And his father's sitting there thinking, well, maybe he'll grow up to run one of those Christian merchandise stores, you know, selling Bibles and rosaries and family friendly videos and all that thing. No, I'd be okay with that. That's all right. Then, with his two free hands, he grabs at the same time the flask of whiskey and the pornographic magazine. And with his right hand flips the top off the whiskey flask and with his left hand flips open the pornographic magazine to the centerfold 
and he's chugging on that whiskey as he's turning around and he leaves his room staring at that centerfold with the Bible under his arm and the silver dollar in his pocket. And his father drops to his knees in that closet and he looks to the heavens and he screams, Oh dear Lord, he's going to be a politician.